Hello, my name is Brandon Catt, and I have the privilege of serving as the Fine Arts Department Chair here at Glenbard East. I want to welcome you to this amazing place. We are just so excited that you are soon going to be a RAM. And one of the best parts of high school, and especially this high school, is getting to choose your classes from so many amazing choices. As I walk up and down the hallways of East and see what's happening in all of the departments, I am just blown away. But right now, I want to talk to you about art which let me start by saying is for every one of you. We often think, nah, I'm not good at art, or I'm not an art person, but I'm here to tell you that there aren't art people or math people or sports people, there are just people. People who are looking to grow intellectually, creatively, socially and emotionally, people who want to live long and fulfilling lives. That is what our art program brings to you we are teaching you a skill that you can use throughout your life to help you process the active and sometimes tumultuous world around us. If you take an art class, you get 48 minutes a day to escape the world and create. 48 minutes a day to express yourself. 48 minutes to learn more about yourself. And 48 minutes of de-stressing from the other aspects of your day. High school is the perfect time in your life to do this. You may not get all of those minutes in college or in your adult life to pick up a paintbrush or throw clay on a wheel or even explore how to take a really incredible photograph. So take advantage of this opportunity and take an art class. I bet if you do that you will take even more in the future. But en enough about this from me. Uh, you need to hear about it from those who would be teaching you in the class. And so I would like to introduce our art faculty, Miss Wink and Mr. Cho. Hi, today I'm working on a painting. My name is Miss Wink. I am the art teacher that teaches drawing and painting and 2D and AP 2D and drawing at Glombard East. And I'm doing what I love. I love to paint and draw in, with uh, talking about usually the relationship between preservation and extinction of nature. Um, it excites me. It uh, relaxes me and uh, it allows for a lot of mental stimulation. I hope you will consider taking an art class and choose to join me next year so that we can collaborate, have some fun, relax, and learn. Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Cho. Uh, welcome to Ceramics. So I'm gonna make something here. Maybe I'll make a tall vase for you. This is a lot of fun. It's um, one of my favorite things to do is um, making things symmetrical and that involves making everything on the wheel. So I'm just centering and opening the clay. So relaxing. If you have a long day of classes and you want to take a break and make something on the wheel, it's really fun. And it's all hands on. So I'm just making a tall cylinder that I'm gonna eventually turn into a vase. Once I get the cylindrical form, I'm gonna to start to articulate the sides. For time's sake, I just wanna show you a quick example of uh, like a vase that you can make on the throwing wheel. Well, thanks for watching and I hope you can take ceramics and I'll see you hopefully in this class. Bye-bye. Now let's take a look at all of the options we have as a freshman in our art program. We will explain each course that you see on your screen over the next couple of minutes. Take a look around you. Graphic design is everywhere. The Apple logo on your phone, the advertisement you see on TV, Instagram pages. Learn how to communicate better by taking this class. We dig into problem solving and creative thinking. Some basic drawing is required, but final designs are executed using the Adobe Creative Suites on IMAX. If you're interested in a potential career in art, keeping up with design trends, or find branding fascinating, you should try this class. You'll design and produce a logo, illustrate with type, do a student choice assignment, and any special projects such as a Glenbard East Winter Holiday Card or our art show poster. We have Photography 1, 2, and Digital Photography. This is a great place to learn about shooting and retouching photographs using both darkroom and digital techniques. 
My favorite assignment is learning how to make portraits. We get to learn and use a variety of equipment, photography equipment, from hot lights to strobe lights. You will get to experience what a professional photographer would do on a photo shoot. Everyone gets a chance to experience being a model, lighting assistant, prop assistant, stylist, and photographer. Ceramics 1 and 2 is all about making sculptures and pottery. This is a fun class if you want to create bowls, cups, vases, teapots, and take them home to eat and drink out of. Everything we make in ceramics is food safe. And the best part is that the food tastes so much better when you know that you made a custom cereal bowl for your favorite cereal. I love making the bowls and mugs for family and friends, and you will too. They will appreciate all the beautiful pottery that you made for them. 2D design is all about what's trending in art. It's a super rich environment where you explore new processes and material combinations creating artwork that's basically flat. In 2D1, the first three projects involved mixed media drawing, acrylic painting, and printmaking and collage. The last project is a student choice assignment, which is wide open, where student responses are truly unique. I've seen responses such as graffiti art, mixed media landscapes, and digital illustration done on the iPad. 2D Design 2 is the second level, where all of the assignments are student choice. This is the class where new discoveries are made and styles are developed. These classes are for everybody, but if you are headed for AP Art and Design 2D, they are a must. Drawing is like performing magic. You're creating an illusion on paper. The magic is attractive, so you'll find yourself surrounded by a diverse set of peers that draw everything from graffiti to portraiture. It's a foundation class for artists that are headed for AP Art and Design. The first assignment plays out like a game. You are armed with a black marker and colored pencils. You make some random marks and let the drawing within you be discovered on the page. Self-expression is the target. Then comes the opposite challenge. You are taught how to draw from observation using linear perspective. Whether you're in it for fun or you're headed for a profession in art, get ready to take your drawing abilities to a whole new level. Comic arts is fun. Students who have a good sense of humor and like to doodle take it. It's a great opportunity to develop your own cartoon style. You work with a variety of supplies like colored pencils, watercolor paint, pastel, and even your iPad. Most technique tots are traditional, which makes it a great foundation for those students who plan on going into animation in college. It's awesome to learn how to create caricatures, comic strips, web comics, and characters. We work together analyzing proportions, how to over and under exaggerate things, and how to create layouts that pop. If you love color and need a place to express yourself, try painting class. You will learn tons about color, how to talk about color, mix colors, and choose colors. Techniques in watercolor, tempera, and acrylic are taught. The semester starts with a mini painting and a prompt such as paint your darkest fear or your greatest joy. By the end of the semester, you'll be able to choose the media that best fits your purpose and style. The class comes highly recommended whether you are a beginner or you are headed for AP Art and Design 2D. It's a must for anyone who needs to relax and decompress during the school day. Introduction to Art. This is a really fun class because you get to explore all the different art disciplines like drawing, painting, ceramics, photography, graphic design, comic arts. I think of it as going to a buffet and trying out lots of different materials and techniques. Then later, you can choose to select an art course for a more in-depth experience. Here's one more look at all of those courses that we just covered. Each one of them is just one semester long, which means you should pick two to take a full year of art. Thank you for taking the time to learn about our art program. There is always a way to make art fit into your schedule, and we are happy to discuss specifically with you how to make it work. So Ms. Wink, Mr. Cho, and I are all available to answer any questions that you may have. Do not hesitate to reach out to us. Our contact information can be found on the screen. We encourage you to pause this video and copy down the information if you need to reach out. We cannot wait to have you in class very soon.